This video will show you how you are going to cite your image sources directly from a Google Doc using the Google add-on EasyBib. You need to log into Google Classroom and go to My Classroom. If you're in Kirby, it's Kirby's Badgers, Hanson, Hanson Huskies. If you're in Ammerman or Richardson, look for Ammerman or Richardson with my name underneath it. You need to open the document image citations. You might see it directly under citing your sources. If you don't, click on the link citing your sources and you want to find the one that says image citations and then your name and open that up. We are going to now add an add-on that will make it easier for you to use EasyBib. On the menu bar where it says add-ons, you're going to click on add-ons. And then you're going to highlight get add-ons. The add-on we're looking for is called EasyBib. So you're going to type EasyBib up in the search box and hit enter. You will find EasyBib Bibliography Creator. It should say free right here. Mine says manage because I already have it installed. You will click on the button, the free button, and then scroll down and say allow to whatever permissions that it wants. You will then have EasyBib Bibliography Creator under your add-ons menu. So you highlight it and go across and do manage bibliography. Now we need to look for images. So if you remember what you need images of, you can just look for them, and I'll show you that. But if you are not, can't remember what you're looking for images of, go back to, this will say your class name. So it'll say Kirby's Badgers or Ammerman or Richardson. But in this case, I'm in the Hanson's Husky class. So you click on the class name and go find your All About Me planning template, the one that has your name after it, and open it up and take a look and see, well, what am I finding names of? What do I need? I need a picture of football. I need a picture of the color blue. I haven't done my favorite food yet. So I can go back to my image citation document, go to the insert menu, and go to image. So I'm looking for an image. I'll click on search to look for the image of football. I hit on the search button and it's showing me soccer and some footballs. If I want to narrow it down, I can say American football. Now, these results are shown are labeled for commercial reuse with modification. So under copyright law, you are allowed to use these images without asking per for permission from the creator. They said that these people put these pictures up and said, you can use them for commercial reuse, which means you could even use them if you were going to share them and make an ad for someone with modification. But we still need to cite the source so we are not plagiarizing. So I'm going to go down and find a picture, and maybe I want to be specific and I want the Cleveland Browns because that's my team, for better or for worse. So I find an image of the Cleveland Browns. Here's Jim Brown, one of the oldest players ever, and I click on it. This is the link to the page that is going to have the picture of Jim Brown. This is where I'm going to cite my source. So I need to click on the link to get to the page. Great. Now, I'm going to highlight the link, because this is what I need to copy, and I'm going to use Control-C to copy the link. I'm going to go back to my image citation page and I'm going to hit select. It sticks my picture in the page, but I want to move it into this image box. So when you select, make sure your cursor is in the box there you want the picture bid. Then do insert image and hit select and it will go in the box. The box will resize. If you need to get rid of a picture, just click on it and hit the backspace or the delete key. So now I can go over here to where it says cite a source in my EasyBib add-on. It is not a book, so I want to make sure I am on website. That website is kind of gray, and it even says a website URL. I'm going to click in the website URL box 
and do CTRL V for paste and then hit search. It shows me my search results and I'm going to click select. When I hit select, it gives me the citation that I need. And right here it just says add bibliography to doc. See what happens. Okay, it's going to add the bibliography at the bottom, which is fine. But in this case, I want to highlight it. Control X this time because I want to cut it. I don't want it here. I'm going to click in the box next to the image under where it says citation and control V, CTRL V to paste. And that's how you could put in images and the citation. So you do not have to have your images on your All About Me planning doc anymore. It got a little crowded. It's fine if it's there, but I do need the image and then the citation right on your image citation document.